we have got mainly seems like white backed vultures which is <clears throat> probably the most I, i'd say the most common species of vulture that we get out here along with a hooded vulture and then every now and then we're lucky enough we get to see leopard faced and white headed too but they're not particularly as common now they're beautiful birds and the two that we're looking at right now were actually mating a couple of minutes ago which was quite interesting very nice to see it's a it's an amazing display and i always i don't actually know how they do it up in the tops of a tree and balancing like that most of the birds we see will make down on the ground and things like that so a vulture is not a particularly small bird either which i think is pretty pretty spectacular but they look like they did have full crops so i think they must have finished off what was left of that impala carcass and they're just going to rest here wait to catch some thermals i'm sure before they go out for the next part of the day oh hello tawny eagle who is also sitting amongst the vultures that's quite nice to see and, and not uncommon of course tawny eagles as well as battle eagles are often the first ones to spot kills down on the ground and and then the vultures will come in afterwards it's just because they fly at a much lower level but very nice to see so many birds today now means you're wondering if a, a eagle will ever eat carcass meat of course so just as we always talk about lions and hyenas and leopards being scavengers and opportunistic feeders it, the same rule applies with the birds so i've even seen an african fish eagle which predominantly feeds on fish i've even seen what is that can you hear that i feel like that's coming from the car there's a strange noise sorry i'm just talking to sebastian and also speaking uh, uh, thinking out loud um so yes yeah i've seen uh, african fish eagles feeding off uh, i can't remember what, if it was a bushbuck or a nyala or an impala it was an antelope of some sort on the side of the bushman's river and um, so a tawny eagle will most certainly do the same thing a battle here and lots and lots of different species of the birds sometimes we even see things like franklins coming right up to carcasses and and starlings doing the same thing but not to eat the meat but to eat the maggots so the larvae from the flies they'll feed upon them but 